Hello, children. It's Grandma talking to you. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Halloween. You have to be very careful out there when you're tricking and treating. Because some, sometimes those treats turn out to be tricks. So this Halloween, you should remember at least one thing. Live from Catons Village, my show is better than your show. A Halloween special. the light accents, the highlights, and my fur. Get over here and sit down. I said sit down. The show's starting. I thought you didn't want to host this show, Dad. I, I don't. <laughs> Then why are you being all nervous? Why don't you just say, stir the show? Uh, because, because I want to make sure I disappoint all my fans out there. Dad, you don't have any fans. Yes, I do. Remember those kids who I signed autographs for a few weeks ago? Yes, you got upset with them because they called you, go for it, <laughs> and killed them. <laughs> Little bastards. What about those ladies who approached me at the gym the other day? Dad! We're not even getting into what you did to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, last week I promised I would have more females on the show today. And from what I understand, Billy, you got us a female guest today? Oh, oh, oh mm, yes, yeah, kind of, um, kind of. Well, let's bring her out. Welcome to the show. Dad, do you want to take the tape over her mouth? <laughs> sure, why not? What's the point of having a guest if you can't talk? <laughs> and I guess we'll talk to her a little bit later then. Well, why don't we bring out our next guest? <laughs> hey, I'm supposed Please. to say that. Stop stealing Daddy's thunder. Fine, fine. Our next guest has been on a murdering rampage for over 10 years and has racked up a body count of 24. Wow, impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, the Shadow Grove Strangler. So, Shadow, um... Can I call you Shadow? <laughs> My records show that you took a 10-year hiding from killing and then jumped right back into the game. <laughs> How did it feel to kill someone after taking a 10-year break? <laughs> <laughs> I 
And now a word from our sponsors. If this is so, Brad and Janet are quite safe. But there are some who have a far more physical philosophy. Those who would stop at nothing to satisfy their base desires. It could be that Brad and Janet are among those who hold the devil's reign. Oh, Brad! Yes! Yes, my darling! What if? It's all right, Janet. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, I hope so, my darling. I'm so frightened. You! Pathetic. How downright kumbaya. Your baggage has dared to defile my beautiful creature. We have a visitor. Scotty! Dr. Scott! Dr. Everett Scott! You know this earth. Oh, person! Uh, At the late night, old feature picture show, I wanna go, oh, oh, to the late night, double feature picture show, by RKO, oh, 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 to the late night, Thank you. 
My show is better than your show. I'm looking for someone with a great personality. I'm tired of those people you can just see right through. I enjoy pulling people underwater while they are swimming and professionally breaking and entering. Sure, you can't see how equipped I am, but I can give you anything you want and more. For a great time, email me at comments at area13films.com. Good evening. Tonight we revisit a routine egging gone horribly awry. Young Joe Average Teen was minding his own business, tossing eggs at passers-by when innocent Billy Wahoobily crossed his path. Reaching blindly for the last egg in the batch, Joe unsuspectingly grabs a rock and opens fire. Billy Wahoobily sustains a massive head injury, much to Joe's surprise. So remember, when tossing eggs, keep plenty in stock and know your surroundings. Good night. Time is fleeting, madness takes its toll. How to kill someone. First, mark your target. Stop! Don't pick public figures. Stop! Don't kill bums. Good! 
Now that's a good target. Stop! Don't use a shotgun. Stop! Don't use a handgun. Good. Knives work nicely. Stop! Do not stab them in the hand. Do not stab them in the foot. Good. It's easier to stab them in the back than to stop the bitching. Slit their throat. Stop. Don't walk away. You have to dispose of the evidence. Stop. Don't cover them in leaves. Stop. Don't light them on fire. Good. Now dig a 10 foot grave. Six just isn't enough. And make sure you cover it with a big rock. Now toss the knife in the grave and... Dig up the grave. Put the knife in. Now cover it back up. And put the big rock back on top. Congratulations. And now you successfully killed someone. They did the monster man. Haunted Merlin. Ellicott City, one of the most documented supernatural locations in Merlin. At the center of this historic town, we have the Judge's Bench Saloon. Plagued by spirits for as long as anyone can remember, this landmark will leave a lasting impression once you step inside. Suppose we are resident ghosts, uh, which I completely believe in because I've seen some weird stuff like uh, there's the upstairs, you can still see that it was an apartment and living quarters. It's also, um, there's a bathroom that the, uh, the employees use. Um, there's a latch and a hook on the door. And I was up there on a Sunday just getting ready to leave on vacation for a week. And if you look at the inside of the door, there's a lock and then there's a hook latch. The hook latch went flying. I'm taking a crack. The hook latch went flying. The lock went open and the door went swinging open. And I'm like, hey, hey, who's out there? There wasn't anybody on the second or the third floor. Nobody. I heard footsteps going up the staircase. Went upstairs, nobody up there. The kitchen's kind of uh, antiquated because it's on the second floor and some of the equipment's kind of old and it's been, you know, rehashed around. But one of the closing duties upstairs they used to have a, 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 a tube light above the three compartment sink. They used to physically have to pull the light socket out of the wall. It wasn't a light switch. One night there were some guys upstairs playing uh, uh, some cards. And uh, one of the last things you did was pull out you know, the cord out of the wall. And I'm holding the cord and the lights don't work. I'm like, that's kind of weird. So I looked at the, the plug. I'm like, I got the right cord, but why the hell is this light still on? So I plugged it back in, and it went off. That don't make any sense to me either. So I pulled it back out, and I'm holding it in my hand, and the light's on again. And I'm like, Buzzy, you got to come see this. So, as you can see, all bars aren't only populated by the living. Go to Judge's Bench and grab a beer. But if I was you, I would stay downstairs, away from the attic, away from where she hides, away from where she waits. Haunted Merlin. Time is fleeting. Madness takes its toll. Oh, Dr. Frankenfurter lives a wonderful, delicious, decadent life. He believes in free love. He's the master of his own domain. So did you pick out this outfit yourself? No, I didn't. I have people to do that for me. I don't think these things <laughs> I do 
you have an apple? <laughs> So, was your brother who led you to do this? Interesting. <laughs> he made me do it. <laughs> Come on, can, can I make a joke? I told you not to take it too far, Dad. I didn't take it too far. This guy just has no sense of humor at all. Son of a... Mother fuck, fuck, fudge me up, fudge me up the goat ass. Yeah, yeah, why do we have to go to that? Don't we have some new band who's supposed to play? Cut to something. What's up? We're Cause for Conflict. Doing some spooky songs for uh, my shows better than your show. Here it goes. <laughs>
आशीष बढ़ दियो